right guys so this is my big kylie box that's what it came in so let me just tell you about my like first experience ever so i like made an alarm i was like okay this thing like comes out 1 p.m pacific so that was like 3 p.m central so i was like waiting my kid took a nap and i'm just sitting here waiting and then i'm reading people's reviews saying you gotta be on like the desktop version can't be on the mobile version so i had my phone just only my phone browser waiting for it to come out it came out i added it to my cart so fast because i wanted to vixen bundle because it was only 180 i was debating on getting the 361 but i did not want all that stuff i only wanted the vixen color because i thought that's what was going to look best on me so i added it to my cart and the screen popped up there was like there's a line blah blah blah, blah. and i was just like why i was like legit right when it launched like not even a minute i clicked and added it to my cart went to my cart and there was a line i was like are you freaking kidding me then i was online for like five minutes and then i was like reading reviews saying you know do different devices and different tabs so on my phone i was on another browser on my tablet i was on that browser on the computer i was on that browser like the same thing in the cart ready to go so my phone on a different browser finally had it when i was able to check out and enter my info i didn't even look i checked out so fast because it just took you straight to the payment option it did not show you your items in your cart at all so when i come get an email from paypal saying that you know you bought this stuff and all that good stuff because every time i buy something it tells me how much i spent in a receipt and everything i look and it said the total was 360 dollars, and i was like I thought this was only 180 turns out I already had my when I signed into my account because of my payment and stuff there was one vixen in that cart already along with the one I added to check out with on that different browser so I didn't buy not only one vixen bundle I bought two and it was just like I don't need to like can I switch this I'm like freaking out because I spent $360 on this crap that I don't even know if I want anymore and it was two of the same things I was like are you kidding me so I email customer service like can I please cancel this or do something because I don't want two of the same things and they're like yeah we can replace the same amount of items with the same dollar amount if it's not out of stock so I was like okay cool let me go and see what's in stock right quick everything sold out I was just like are you kidding me i can't even get like anything in the holiday collection because it's sold out i was just like for this shit, i could have got the 360 thing i could have got the big ass bundle so i was not too pleased with that i didn't know that you know usually when you check out with ColourPop, bh cosmetics to name a few it shows you your cart before you check out she just <laughs> went straight to payment because i was in the line and i was just like wow that's lovely so i have two i don't want to I want one so who knows what I'm gonna do with the other one I'm probably gonna sell it so that was my experience checking out with Kylie Cosmetics for the first time I bought this I checked out it was like 15 minutes by the time I paid 15 minutes since it launched and everything was selling out okay cool so I'm waiting and I'm excited because it's the first time I purchased from this girl I don't really like her or anything I don't really dislike her I kind of don't really like her but I was just like you know no regrets I got this for my birthday Wednesday comes around and people are posting like they got their single items and I'm just like how did y'all get that so fast and then she's talking about how she's restocking for black friday and i'm just like that's cool that you're restocking and all but like where's my shipping confirmation i was just like what's going on black friday comes around she restocked the whole holiday collection and i'm just like where's my shipping confirmation i bought from bh cosmetics ColourPop, juvia's place and jcat beauty all in the same days and times Tell me how it's Sunday. BH Cosmetics tell me that my purchase is on the way. ColourPop tells me everything's on the way. Juvia's Place telling me everything's on the way. My Kylie email is just cricket. Cricket. It's empty. It's quiet. No shipping confirmation. So I was like, maybe I'm going to just wait. Back up from the holidays, sure. But like Kylie is just Kylie. It's just one little brand. ColourPop and BH Cosmetics seem like a bit bigger to me. They seem like they handle more orders. And they already given me my items tomorrow what's going on so it was like wednesday and it was about 10 days after this stuff launched i still don't have nothing no confirmation no nothing everybody's getting their stuff and i'm just like well what about me email their customer service and they you know was like we had a high volume of items and processing was going to take an extra three to five days and i was just like wow i should have just bought everything separately instead of getting the bundle because everybody who bought separate stuff got theirs already me with my little 360 dollars worth of stuff isn't even coming but soon after they sent that email they finally sent me the shipping confirmation so just based on my experience with checking out with that stupid line and then checking and out with two different things 
and then not even getting a shipping confirmation to like 11 days after I bought it, which was 15 minutes after the launch. I'm already not happy with this purchase. Like I'm like Bleh, right now. So just wanted to give you guys a little background because this is my first time ever buying from this chick. I'm going to just stick to AliExpress to be honest, but I'll give it a chance. I'm going to open this up with you guys. Let me just move saw a little bit and come right back. Hi, sorry for the big five minute rant. I just wanted to give you guys my experience for someone who never bought from Kylie before and who usually buys stuff from like Asia. So I'm finally opening the box and it came with just this and they each come in their own separate black Kylie box which is kind of similar to what you can see on AliExpress to be honest and I'm only going to open one because they should have the same things I'm like extremely nervous right now I heard so many bad things about people missing items and not getting what they order getting the wrong color so maybe I should open both boxes I left my knife I'm just going to see if I can stab it with my unicorn brush no I can't like I can't believe I lost the knife and I suck at opening boxes and I'm trying to get the tape off this box uh, sorry for the noise in the background he just opened the door but I am finally opening or not because I still have a piece of tape left but finally opening the box this is what the box looks like on the inside and the front. If you guys want me to do a real versus fake with Kylie products, especially the boxes and everything, let me know and I'll do the video on that. And this is what everything looks like on the inside. It kind of reminds me of like ColourPop and the way they ship their things. It has a little random foam and everything came in a really nice satin Kylie box. So I kind of like this little bag. I think it's soft too. So I'm a little cool down now that the bag is neat. And it also comes with the little receipt thingy i don't know what you call that and also a little highly holiday card like so and on the inside it says holiday edition ingredient list and on the inside it is like this it says happy holidays on the top here and then on the bottom it says i want to personally wish you and your family a safe peaceful and happy festive season and extend my sincere thanks for your support this year yeah so that's the card that is in here and it should be in the second one as well I'm going to open the bag now. I didn't know it was going to come in this bag, so it's really nice. And the makeup bag that came with the Vixen bundle looks like this. It's a nice, decent set bag. The bag has a Kylie on the back, and then it has the little lips on the front in white. It has a little K here that you take off the little protection seat like this. And this is how big it is compared to like my face and everything, the glare. But this is what it looks like. It's a good, decent sized bag, so that's not too bad. And everything in here was protected with like bubble wrap on the eyeshadow palette and it has a little pouch part in here so the first thing i'm going to open is the eyeshadow palette because that's what i'm excited to see i also will be doing a real versus fake on each of these items separately so stay tuned for that this is the box and this is my first time getting authentic kylie eyeshadow palette the box feels really really nice it's not cheaply made or anything it's kind of scratched up though this is the front part of it and this is the back i'm gonna open it i'm really nervous because i've seen a lot of swatches and i didn't really like how it looks and it's taped up though really really nice bad for me because i'm i suck at opening tape in boxes but on the inside this is what the palette looks like similar to the box and then on the back it has a little eyeshadow names and then in the front it has like silver burgundy and blue tears and I'm going to open it up. It comes with a mirror that's really, really good quality right here. You can see. And uh, it comes with this. And the shadows are here like so. The pan feels really, really nice and professional. It's completely different than a DH Gate one. But the swatches is what I'm like nervous about. So I'm going to swatch this right quick. This is what it looks like on my finger. And then this is what it looks swatched on my skin tone. Ooh, it's really chalky. <laughs> But that's one color, and I'm already kind of, eh, but it is a matte, so we'll try the silver shimmer color. Okay, the silver isn't too, too bad. That's what it looks like on me. The next one is this, like, burgundy-ish light matte here. And that's what that one looks. And then there's another shimmer, like so. I'm on the second row of the eyeshadow palette. And let me wipe my hand with my makeup wipe. And then the next color I'm going to swatch for you guys is in the middle. Is that blue color. It's what it looks like on me. This is what it looks like on 
my arm. The next one is the purple on my hand and arm. Then there is that goldeny color shimmer here. And then here. And then next is this matte. I don't know what color that is. Holiday green look like. I don't know what you call that, but that's what that looks. I'm not sure what the eyeshadow names is. I'm sure I can just look on the back of the palette. And then the last one swatched on the last row is this nice little purple in here. So this is what they look like swatched. They are nice and pigmented, but the mattes are kind of chalky. I've not my favorite eyeshadow palette to be honest. The colors are really nice and pretty though. It's not like the worst thing I've ever gotten, but for something that's like forty dollars, it's really like not my favorite. I would get a BH Cosmetic palette over this one, and I'm just like being really honest. As my first ever Kylie purchase, I just I'm not a hundred percent feeling it. Maybe like at seventy percent, I'm like feeling it, but it's okay ish, you know. But that's all for the eyeshadow palette. I will talk about the next thing. I will show you guys my favorite thing about this to be honest is the way it feels in the mirror the next thing that comes in here I'm gonna show you guys is the holiday edition matte liquid lipstick I don't know if this one's the six piece or the four piece but this is the box It's really small and then this bag has nothing on it this is what it looks like when you open it it is the one two three four five six minis and I will swatch all of these for you guys the first one is called vixen which is the one I'm like really really excited for the really packaging is really really cute but these are tiny when they say sample size it's like sample that's what that looks like and this is what it looks like swatch Ooh, that smells really really good I gotta give that to her that smells fantastic it reminds me of like a nice chocolate truffle this one is called love bite Ooh, I didn't know it came with love bite that's like my favorite from don't kill me but from Allie and it's really really pretty so I'm excited to use it too bad it's a sample but I would get the full one but I don't want to buy it from her the next one is called angel and that's what that looks like swatched I really like that two colors I might have to cave I already have vixen in here but I might have to cave and get love bite the next one is Kristen it's not really a color I would use but it was included in the set then the second to last one is called Ginger. That's part of the holiday spiel. I'm not sure if this is sold out again or not. I really like how they feel. They don't feel like sheer or anything. And the last one is called Moon. I didn't know Moon was included in this. I feel like you'll be able to use this like once and that's it. It'll be empty. So Moon is pretty nice. It'll be like a good nude on me. I might have to get that. I don't want to, but I kind of want it. So these are the six colors in the holiday set swatch. I'm really feeling Vixen. I'm glad I got the Vixen set. I really kind of want Moon and Love Bite now. I'm going to try to forget it, but I really, really want it. So they all came in this little box here, and I'm going to fix it later on. I'm not going to really deal with that right now. The next thing that came in here, I'm going to do a cream eyeshadow. This is the camel one. This is the packaging for it, front and back. And then this is what it looks like outside of the box. Here has a little Kylie silver cap and everything. And then on the inside, this is what it looks like. It looks like a camouflage color. Would I use this? Probably not. It would be nice on top of your lips. This is what it looks swatched. Huh, maybe it's a pretty, pretty color. It's a nice camouflage green color. That's what it looks like swatched on me. I don't know if I use it on my eyes. It feels kind of boring. I try. I feel like I'd rather use it on top of a lippy or something. But that is camo. The next thing I'm going to show you guys are two lippies that came in here. This is so cute. It's like little ornament things and it has the holiday edition gloss on one, matte lips, metal lipstick on the other. That came in the Vixen set. I really like this little packaging. So if I can figure out how to open. Oh, it was taped. Good thing I didn't break this thing. But this is how it opens like this and it has a little lipstick in here. This is too cute. This is the gloss in Jolly, part of the holiday collection. This is what it looks like here. Whoa, I didn't know the tube looked like that, huh? I wasn't expecting that. This is what Jolly looks swatched. Oh, that would be beautiful on top of Vixen. Oh, I'm really digging that. I like the lippies. I may not like the eyeshadow, but the lippies. I'm tempted to buy the lippies, but I'm scared to buy. I really am. This is the metal lipstick, and it's in the color Dancer. Oh, this is why I wanted the Vixen model, because it came with Jolly as a gloss and Dancer, and also came with Vixen, of course. 
this is what the wand looks like the wand is a little weird it's not a full dough tip it's like really really small but this is what it looks here and oh it's beautiful i don't know if you guys can see that with my glare but i really like that color oh i love this color it's going to be hard for me to choose if i want the gloss or the metal on top of one another but this is really really pretty i can see myself using these two colors i'm glad oh, i'm glad all right, so the last thing that comes in this Vixen bundle set from Kali comes with a cute packaging here. It is the Vixen itself. I was really excited for this because this is like a color that I can see myself using. I had to give it to her. The packaging is a cute design of it. I, so far, I'm not hating everything. I just don't like the eyeshadow palette. This is Vixen itself. It is a matte liquid lipstick. It is a nice deep burgundy color, I want to say. That's what it looks like. It's a brown color that I just love and I would definitely use. It smells good too. So that's what it looks like. I can see so many possibilities with using that gloss and that metal and that together or maybe another brown. And then this is the lip liner here. That's what it looks like pointed. And then that's what it looks like underneath. Fixing here. It's a really good perfect match. I'm really excited about the lippies. So that is what I got in my first experience with buying from Kylie Cosmetics. Would I buy again? Probably not to be honest though and fair. I do like the lippies. I haven't used it on my lips. Maybe I will completely fall in love with it even more when I try it. So far the lippies are just my favorite out of everything. I wouldn't really use or want the camouflage cream eyeshadows. But the lippies, hands down, are really, really nice and pigmented. And if you are curious about how it compares to AliExpress, it's about the same. I haven't used it on my lips to give it like a full detailed review. So let me know if you want me to like review something compared to AliExpress, and I will. But this is what they look like when they're drying. The top ones aren't done drying yet and then wet. I, like I said, I love the lippies. The eyeshadow palette, I'm really not that fond of. It's like chalky for a $40 eyeshadow palette when you can get a BH Cosmetics one and it's just beautiful like the nude rose beautiful so thank you guys for watching this video thank you for watching my first ever Kali purchase maybe I'll get a lippy set again who knows probably not if you're interested in buying my Vixen bundle set I will probably be selling it for like 180 plus shipping because that's how much I bought it for let me know in the comments below help your girl out because I do not want this other set or if you only want something out of the set, let me know because I am tempted to keep that six-piece lip set and the Vixen and the Jolly and the Gloss. Okay, I basically want to keep everything but the eyeshadow palette. So let me know. Thank you guys for watching. Have an awesome day night wherever you are.